Hello and welcome. This video is on the Minecraft plugin Sentries for Citizens 2. You start off by creating your NPC, you type in slash NPC create and then the name of the character, Bob is the standard. Then you set the trait with slash trait sentry. So now he's a sentry. Then we'll just set the spawn, so I'll fly over to the corner. Just teleport him here with NPC TP here. And then slash sentry spawn. Now that sets his spawn point. Then we go back, we'll just place him in the middle again, teleport him to us. And then we'll set a path for him, so slash NPC path. And then you just left click to set the points of the path. So I'll just quickly make a small one. So there you go, there's the path that he's going to walk around. And then just do it again to stop it. So you can see he's just walking around the path. And then slash sentry equip. And then an item number will equip an item to the sentry. But as I've got the items on me, I'll use NPC equip. And then all I've got to do is walk up to him and right click the item on him. And he'll take it off me. So as you can see, diamond sword. And then armor. I'll just quickly place that all on him. And then just do it again to go out of the mode of putting it on him. So there you go. As you can see, he's walking around the waypoint with his armor on and his sword, and he's ready to attack. Then next, you have to set what the NPC will attack. So you do slash sentry target add entity, and then if you put all, it'll attack everything. So I'll just do an example of this, and you'll see it attacking me, although I am in creative mode, so it won't actually do any damage. So you see, he starts attacking me. So if I attack him back, I can actually kill him. There you see, obviously not got much health because it only took sevens. And then he's dead. And then you'll see that he will spawn over there, but he'll run straight to the waypoint. There you go. Then he'll try and attack me again. It doesn't just have to be all that you set it to attack. You can also change it. So if I put monster, it'll just attack all the monsters that go past it. If I put player, it'll just attack any player that walks past. And then if I change it completely, I can change it to event. And then I can put PvP. And then it means if two players attack each other, it'll start attacking them. And then also you can put PvNPC. And that means if anyone attacks an NPC, it'll start attacking them. But then also you can set ignores. So you have to type in slash sentry ignore add and then whoever. So I can have it on all and I can still add and ignore. So if I do ignore owner as I'm the owner. So I just type it out exactly the same as before. Entity owner. And you see he just walks off. He's not attacking me anymore because I'm ignored. But you'll still attack everything else because he's still on all. And then you have commands to set the stats for the sentry. So slash sentry health sets the health. So I'll just set his health to 50. Then you can also set armor. I won't bother doing this. But I'll do slash sentry strength. Because the default is only 1. So it's very weak. So I'll just set it to 5. So now it can actually kill things. The average for a normal player is 20 health. And I'll do slash sentry Heal rate, and then, oh, wait, I put a gap in. Can't have a space. Heal rate, and then it will heal at 2. So now it'll heal after it's been hit. And I'll do sentry, respawn, and then it will respawn after 2 seconds of dying. And then the next command is sentry retaliate. This is whether it will retaliate if it's hit or not. It is on by default, so if I type it in, it'll actually turn it off, as you'll see. So you go, it will not retaliate. Whereas if I put it on again, you'll see if it's attacked, it will retaliate to you. So it's all attackers. And then you'll see I can set him to invincible as well, so he just can't die at all. So you do slash sentry invincible. And then if I attack him, he just won't take any damage at all, but it'll still carry on attacking me. So as you can see, it doesn't get damaged at all. And you can also turn it off. And then he now takes damage again. So as you can see, I can kill him. 
Obviously he's set to 50 health now, so it took a bit longer. There you go, he spawned. And then he just continues to the waypoint because I'm ignored. He only attacks me because it's on retaliate. Then you can also set the sentry to drop the items he's wearing. So you do slash sentry and then drops. And then when it's killed it'll actually drop all of its items. I mean this could be very useful on online servers. You could have sentries as bosses. So you have set them with lots of health. So if I just run off and quickly kill him just to show you before I change his health. So there you go. It drops his items. There you go, you've got a diamond set. Obviously, as I say, you'd obviously set the NPC health to a lot more. So sentry health, as I say, set it to a thousand. So obviously it's got loads of health now. It'd be really hard for players to kill. You'd have to gang up and try and share the items. Or one of you could steal them all. That's why it'd be good on online servers, I feel. And the whole while I'm attacking him, he's actually regaining his health as well, so... I think I set it to two a second, didn't I? So obviously recovers fairly fast. If I quickly just spawn mobs, I'll spawn five spiders in. And then I'll just fly out the way so he doesn't remember me. There you go. So as you can see, he starts attacking the spiders. Just let him kill all them quickly. So if you had say a castle or something you wanted to protect you could just have a couple of these walking around the border of the castle or I don't know there's many uses for these I guess but mainly for online servers thanks for watching there'll be links in the description below please remember to rate subscribe and comment cheers